We got this, guys. I'm going for top 10. I'd love to get top 10 in this field. Because I can tell these drivers are good. Bathurst is one of my most challenging tracks. I can never seem to get it right. Okay, we're in 14th. Let's see how this goes. Wow, I didn't even have to release the clutch. That was interesting. Three wide, you're in the middle. Wow, that Corvette was early on the brakes. And that Audi, wow, he just shoved it in there. I mean, that was full send right there. That was full send. Oh, wow, I just got punted. Corvette trying to go for the bump and run. I'm going full send this time around. I'm clear. That's a yeet if I ever seen one. I don't really use that word much, but yeah, I'll say that's fitting. Okay, we're in 11th. We gained three spots so far. Almost got punted by that bird. One of the things I'm not a fan of in race room, no tire lockouts. You don't feel it through the force feedback if you lock up the tires, so you'll see people going all out on the brakes. Yeah, I got a good run out the corner. Let's see if I can get a slipstream up to Wagner. We got the slipstream off the Beamer. So you move to the inside. And he backed off, giving me the spot. Awesome. That's the way I like to see it pass. Okay, do some smoke, get easy on the brakes. Wow, he just threw the car in there and somehow it's stuck. Okay, go to the inside. Okay, I didn't want to get squeezed too much. Okay, he got loose out of the corner and I barely dodged him. Woo. That was close. Uh, a little wide. Incidents four. Yikes. Well, I guess they keep track of incidents, and I just got hit, but the guy who hit me spun. Okay. How is... Somehow I'm in eight? Okay. And we still have 16 minutes more left to this race. Jeez. Rest my hand for a minute. We've only done two laps in this race and sheesh. Well, I started in 14th in this race. And I mean, I was going faster, but yeah. Let's see if we can try building up a gap. Focus on good driving and not running too wide like that. Looks like we're closing in a bit on Morgan. We're 1.5 back. Oh, 
Also, Evil is a track I'm not particularly great at. So I'm just trying to be conservative as I go wide off the track. I wonder if his tires are wearing off from all those ballsy moves. Guys, he made a lot of risky moves and really slid those tires, so I wonder if he's starting to feel the effects. But yeah, the driving feel in the race room right now is pretty good. Especially with the force feedback tweaks uh, that people were recommending. And I am running the recommended profile from the Granite Devices forums. Feels pretty good. As mentioned before, there's still some of the uh, floatiness that I've come to associate with race room. And that's still there, nowhere near as pronounced as it was a few years ago. The force feedback feels quite a bit tighter, quite a bit more uh, informative, which I'm really enjoying. Race Room's just come a long way, and it's a lot better than it was when I first gave it a try in 2014. Wait, they did add flat spotting? I haven't even felt that. But maybe because I also have ABS on. Yeah, I've heard about some of that controversy where they're kind of making fun of sim racers and stuff, and it's like, really? But at least Dale Jr. went on our side on that. Oh, there's a spinner. She, like the base game's free why not give it a try and then i believe you can still buy it just about everything for about 65 bucks oh we got really loose there here's our shot Wow, he, I'm surprised he caught that. Well, I think one of the drivers, his beef was sim racers are announcing sponsorship deals and giving out like their info and stuff. Like it's a real career or something. Random, you've missed a heck of a race so far. I mean, I've literally gained seven spots this race. But now he's in my slipstream. But, oh my gosh! How does he send it like that? I just look in the mirror and it's like, wow! That was kind of scary. I mean, I'm conservative on the brakes, I'll admit that, but sheesh. Got a little loose there. And in the kitty litter, dang it. And loose again. Okay, 
Just gotta regain my composure. But 7th out of 31 place, not bad. That's a big field. They almost filled this complete server because I think it was 35 slots. All right, we're halfway through the race, guys. We've got a ways to go, but let's see what we can do. tight through there I saw he bobbled again but he still kept in the power dang okay trying to drive my own race I mean but yeah it's these cars are fast it's good competition, I'm going to say that. Okay. Is that like a corner cut or something? I mean, this is making me curious on how he tackles that corner. Because that is a poor racing line. Yay, yay. That was a poor line through that corner. BMW just bought me. Yeah, that was a little aggressive, just muscling me out of the way. And he doesn't get an instant point for that? Okay. Yeah, I don't get these guys racing lines. Blankers. He went a mile off the track there. Oh, that is not a safe track re entry. Yikes! Ooh. I mean, that could have been ugly. I clipped the grass a bit, trying to be careful here.
Gotta run! And that beamer is gonna make the dive bomb and just ram me. Really? Really? That was ridiculous. I mean, I was far enough ahead that, yeah. This track ain't big enough for the two of us. That reminds me of the Driver 61 YouTube channel. Uh, it's some excellent content. There was this one that it was the real race car driver reacts to sim racing shunts. That was a pretty funny video. I recommend you guys check it out if you haven't already. Oh, this is gonna be ugly. This is going to be ugly. I have a feeling there's going to be a wreck ahead of me. And I'm hoping I'm not the one that causes it. But two and a half minutes left in the race. I'm held up by these two guys. Again, he just... I had nowhere to go. I had to slam on the brakes. Lost half a second because of that. I think we had two laps to go. And now this Merc is behind me with the slipstream too. And try to force them to the outside. Oh, he spun himself out. That Merc behind me spun himself out. Well, Morgan sends it so deep in the entry, he is just slow on the exit. But because the exits of these corners are pretty tight, I have nowhere to go. Hey, Joel, four tiles going. Apex a little early there. A little loose on exit. Come on. Let's turn down traction control click. This is Imola, or Imola, however you pronounce it. Okay, last lap, guys. Of course, they get a good run right off there. Okay, let's see how hard they push on this final lap. 
And there's a lap down card coming up. This shall be interesting. Little wide, dang it. Thank you, car, for acknowledging the blue flag. Oh, Morgan got loose there. Okay. I got tight there. All three of us got tight in that corner. Okay, I'm guessing Morgan. Oh, he's got a run, I think. I think he's going to send it. I sent it and oh, 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 the BMW spun. Oh my goodness. I almost spun, but the BMW did. Oh my goodness. That's a scary moment. <laughs> and somehow we're gonna turn out in lucky number seven. <laughs> that guy is going no! right now. Whew. What a finish. Started 14th, ended in 7th. I will gladly take that. I mean, I had a couple scary moments, but... Whew. Gotta catch my breath. But uh, yeah, that was a good race, all things considered. I mean, the first end of the race was definitely more on the rather insane side, but as the race progressed, it really turned into some decent racing. Had actually race wheel to wheel at times and make a strong effort, and I felt it paid off. It was a lot of fun.